To the desk? Yeah, just got a flash from the city news. Who got killed? Who? Milton T. Devereux? Oh, huh. they won't, huh? Well, I got one reporter they can't keep out. Torchy. <laughs> Why? Well, don't you see? He's planning on taking the gems he stole to Europe to dispose of them. He wouldn't dare get rid of them in this country. Very good, Torchy. Very logical and very cockeyed. What's cockeyed about it? Now, don't make it any tougher for yourself. You had a row with Devereaux because he wouldn't lend you money, which you forgot to mention. Well, what of it? Next day, Devereaux was knocked off and $250,000 in gems was stolen from his safe. Just before the killing, you had written the same figure on this menu card. Now, you've come through with some pretty smooth alibis for yourself. If you're smart, you'll clean the slate while you still have the chance. Well, I guess I'll really have to tell you why I want to make that trip. Gentlemen, I have every reason to believe that Lucian Croy killed Milton Devereaux. And if you let me follow him, I'll bring back the proof. <laughs> You dropped your lipstick. Oh, thank you. In my room. You put murder before matrimony, huh? Well, listen to me, Steve McBride. I'm through hanging around license bureaus while you're galloping around with your nose to the ground chasing crime waves. You're not a thief and say you're a bloodhound and you're wasting my time. Why don't you ask him who carries the key to that back door? Yeah. <laughs> 